Hey there, welcome to Plum Build Play. In this video, I'm going to be setting up and testing out this uh, air conditioner, vacuum pump, as well as the uh, gauge manifold. Really not sure how to pronounce this company name, so I'm just going to put the link to this in the description of the video. So opening up the boxes for the manifold gauges, as well as the vacuum pump, uh, here's all what's included. You get a manual for both of them. You get the vacuum pump, as well as oil for it. Uh, this is already pre-measured out. I already added this one, and it fits right up to about halfway. And the manifolds, you get a hanger for it. That installs here on the top. You get the gauges, as well as three hoses. That's for the high side, the low side, and then either the to connect to the vacuum pump or adding refrigerant. It does also have some adapters for uh, larger split system fittings. The, uh, the connections on the hoses are what's going to fit the standard uh, air conditioner fitting. These are also the fitting that will connect into the uh, refrigerant tank as well. So there is some assembly required, just adding the, uh, the hanger. And then on the valves or the hoses, you want to make sure you attach the correct side. One side has this little thing in the center. This is so it opens up the valve on the air conditioner for the tank. And this is the side that gets attached to the, uh, the gauge set. Also comes with a bag, as well as a strap. Uh, seems pretty heavy duty. Shouldn't have any problems holding the uh, the weight of the vacuum pump. All right, so I'm gonna get these all hooked up and start testing it out. Okay, so I have all the hoses set up now, hooked up to the uh, vacuum pump. The oil is added. You want to make sure you don't run it without that. You'll end up seizing up the, uh, the compressor, burning out the motor. One thing to note on this is these don't have any valves other than on the manifold. So if you disconnect these from something that still has pressure in it, you're going to end up bleeding off whatever's in the actual hoses. This also isn't a valve either. It's just a cap for another area to uh, hook up another hose, I guess. It does have a sight glass, though, so you can tell if you're um, putting in either vapor or liquid refrigerant. So starting this up, it is actually pretty quiet. Uh, opening up the valve, you can see it's does seem the one of one of the gauges is slightly off it's not exactly on zero on the high side and low side is pretty close and covering the uh, hose there you go you got some vacuum going So a brand new empty recovery tank. Uh, this should be empty, but it might still have some air in it. So I'm going to vacuum this out for about an hour and uh, see how the pump does. Okay, so I have the tank hooked up now, ready to vacuum out. And uh, the tank's still closed. I just want to see that this, see what kind of vacuum pressure this can pull just on the line. In a couple of seconds, it's down to about 30 inches uh, mercury va vacuum. And it does seem that the vacuum pump does have a one-way valve. 
So if you forget to close the valves on the manifold, it won't, uh, it won't leak air back into the system. All right, so now I'm gonna open up the tank. The tank's at zero pressure right now. And start up the, the vacuum pump. Let this run for about an hour. So it's been an hour now, and the tank pressure is down to negative 30, uh, negative 30 inches mercury. Just checking out how this thing is doing. It's still not very hot. It's only about 120 degrees, a little bit less. The entire outside of this thing is covered with cooling fins. So even after running an hour, it's nice and cool. One thing to note though is when I first started this up, there was some white smoke coming from the cap. Uh, that's probably just for the burn-in on the compressor. After a few minutes, it ended up stopping. It wasn't really a problem. So connected to a 20-pound recovery tank. This actually only took about five minutes to get down to the, the point it is right now. I did leave it on for the full hour just to check how the, the motor would do and see if it would overheat or anything like that. So I do have one more test for this. Uh, I'm working on a window air conditioner. I'm actually going to split this into a split unit and uh, disconnect the compressor, uh, condenser, and evaporator. If you're interested in checking that project out, uh, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Uh, after I split the system, I'm going to be filling it with nitrogen and uh, I'll run the vacuum to pull that nitrogen out after all the copper tubing is reconnected. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. If you have ideas for videos, toss them in the comments.